Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, that was not good. Merry Christmas. <laughs> That's what a full cathedral sounds like. Welcome. We're so glad that you're with us tonight. I'm so glad that you're here. Now, how many of you, when you came in this evening, or as you've been around town and near the cathedral, noticed the star on top of the central tower this season? Raise your hand if you've noticed the star. Quite a few of you, that's wonderful. What do you think? Do you like it? This is the first time that star has been up on the central tower in more than 20 years. I think it's fantastic. The feedback we've gotten from folks has generally been pretty good. A few people don't seem to appreciate it. And at least one person in the neighborhood who really seems to object. This person has sent several protest emails. The last one said something like, what's next, cathedral? A glowing Rudolph? Can you imagine? Well, imagine my surprise several years ago when my wife, Melissa, came home from shopping one afternoon and announced that she had found Jesus at Home Depot. <laughs> That's right, she found Jesus. Now, given the fact that my wife's been a priest for 20 years, I figured she found Jesus a long time before that. But nevertheless, she found Jesus, and not only Jesus, but Mary and Joseph and the shepherds and wise men, the whole lot and she liked them so much that she bought them and brought them home and plugged them in on my front yard. <laughs> Imagine my surprise when I came home one afternoon a few days after Thanksgiving and found a large plastic glowing crash set sitting under my, my oak tree. At first my inner Scrooge emerged but after a few minutes, I just had to laugh. They are so tacky <laughs> that they are just wonderful. Now, we love our plastic Jesus. So as I move into Sayer House, the deanery, prepare yourselves, cathedral. That glowing, holy family may well make an appearance on the Sayer House front lawn next year. Now the problem is, because they are made of plastic and they're hollow, they weigh very little. So at the slightest gust of wind, they blow around the front yard. When we first got them, I found this incredibly annoying. I'd come home every evening to find Mary and Joseph blown over or the baby Jesus flipped upside down Mary and Joseph would be tangled together with one of the wise men, and it would take me 10 minutes to get them all untangled, unwound, and set back up. I remember one afternoon after restaging our plastic holy family, and I thought to myself, thank God they're all connected by the same electric cord, or I'd be chasing these things all over the neighborhood. Thank God they're all connected. That's when it hit me, and I had to smile. They're all connected. Isn't that the miracle of Christmas? God comes to us as a human child and forever connects us to the divine and the divine to all of us. The birth of Christ on Christmas morning removes the separation between you and me and God. The infinite becomes finite, hallowing human existence, binding us to God and binding us to one another like some holy, mysterious umbilical cord. 
that day as I stood there smiling, untangling my holy family, I realized I had learned something very important from that Home Depot plastic crash set. Alan Jones, the wonderful preacher and retired dean of Grace Cathedral in San Francisco once wrote, unwrap God's present to you this Christmas. God's saving word of love means that each one of us, each one of us belongs to the Holy Family. The miracle under our noses is that the human race is a family and not just any family. We are a holy family. It's so simple. At the heart of everything is the woman and the man and the baby. Whether you are married, single, or part of an extended family, whether you are alone and feel bereft, whoever you are, you are well connected. You were born into God's holy family, called into being by the divine, I love you. Philosophers, philosophers say this cannot be. They say the infinite cannot become finite. The universal cannot become particular. God, if there is a God, cannot be a Jewish baby born to an unwed mother in a remote corner of the Roman Empire. But that's exactly what Christmas affirms. That's the story of the babe in the manger, that God came to us. God came to us, not in some generalized form, but as absolutely vulnerably human, just like you and me. Christ becomes one of us so that we might all become part of the body of Christ. It's scandalous and it's wonderful. Our lives, our lives are tangled together like the Mary and the Joseph and the Jesus of my crush set. In-laws, siblings, friends, children, we all have relationships that are complex and multifaceted. It is true that some of the people we are tangled together with hurt us, disappoint us, let us down. And truthfully, if we're honest with ourselves, we often hurt and disappoint the people we love the most. It's messy being connected. But the fact remains that we are all connected, not just to one another, but to the God who sends us his son. As a consequence, it is never too late to revive a friendship or to heal a relationship, to say I'm sorry or to accept someone's forgiveness. We gather together on Christmas with family and friends not only to celebrate but also to renew our bonds, to strengthen our ties, to try again with the people we are bound to. When Christ is born on Christmas, God declares that all our bonds are holy bonds, holy connections grounded in the same divine love that brought Jesus to live as one of us. Because of Christmas, the God who shared our flesh, who experienced our joys and our sufferings, who walked and lived and died as one of us, lives in every person we meet. He is present in the friend and in the enemy, in the relative and in the colleague, in the beloved and in the stranger. God stoops down on this holiday and raises us up.
God binds himself to us so that we might discover who we are meant to be. In so doing, we are asked to bind ourselves to one another in peace and in love and in forgiveness. So welcome to the glorious, holy, tangled mess that is the miracle of Christmas. The miracle of heaven touching earth and the divine becoming us. May we all find ourselves wrapped in Christ this Christmas, tangled up in the greatest love story ever told the story of Emmanuel, God with us. Amen.